Hey guys, it's Lynn here for Superimpose X, and in the next five videos, I'm gonna show you how to use the editor tab by breaking down each individual feature. Today, we're gonna be talking about the first set of features called adjust. Remember that all changes made within the editor tab are permanent, so you won't be able to go back and change them later unless you undo them. Adjust includes five different features, clarity, histogram, recover, balance, and temperature. Let's start with clarity, which does exactly what you think it would, it adds more clarity, giving the photo more contrast, sharpness, and texture. Use the slider to control the amount, and play around with radius and vibrance to perfect the look. All of these features also let you add a mask so that you can remove the effect from a certain part of the image. Now let's open up a new photo and take a look at the histogram feature. If you're familiar with the Levels feature in Photoshop, then you'll definitely recognize this one. A histogram is a graphical representation of the colors and tones in your photo. Using this feature, you can change the shadows, midtones, and highlights in the photo to create a more balanced image. If the light gray area is bigger on the right side, that indicates that there are a lot of bright pixels in the image. And if the gray area is bigger on the left side, like in this case, that tells you that the image has more dark pixels. And that's true, this is a pretty dark picture. So to fix that, you can use the controllers to, in this case, brighten up the picture. You can also adjust the output levels to set the darkest and lightest tones allowed. This gives the photo a lower contrast look. When this white dot is selected, you're changing all three channels, red, green, and blue at once, which adjusts the overall brightness of the picture. But you can also choose to adjust each individual channel, which can be used to correct the white balance of the photo or to create fun color effects. Moving the controllers to the left will increase the selected color, and moving them to the right will decrease it. If you're not happy with the results, you can always tap this arrow right here to reset the effect. And if you prefer for the app to automatically tweak the histogram for you, you can do that by tapping Auto Level. Recover allows you to fix a photo that turned out too dark or too bright. In the shadow section, you can brighten up the shadows, making them less intense. If there are overexposed areas in the photo, you can bring these down using the highlights feature. And if you find that this causes the photo to lose some of its detail, you can use the details tab to bring it back. Then we have balance, which lets you balance the colors in different shades of the picture. In shadows, you can adjust the colors in the dark parts of the image. In highlights, you can adjust the color of the brighter areas. And finally, midtones lets you tweak the color balance of the tones right in between. Lastly, we have temperature. Using this feature, you can make the photo cooler or warmer. You can also use tint to give the photo a green or pinkish tint. So there you go, a quick walkthrough of the adjust features in the editor tab. And in the next video, we're gonna take a look at tools. Don't forget to check out our other tutorials for Superimpose X. And as always, if you have any questions at all, you're always welcome to send us an email through the contact us option inside the app so that we can help you out from there. Bye.